Today, you're going to be solving word problems. So I was going to do an example for you to show you some strategies for how to solve these word problems. So step one is to read the entire problem. A piece of rope is five meters long. It is cut into eight equal pieces. How long is each piece? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Now I need to write my sentence. So your sentence is the answer without a question. So when I look back in here, my sentence should be, how long is each piece? I'm going to write each piece is blank meters. long. If I just wrote that, it would not be good enough because I'd be missing this last part here, reading the entire problem. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So I need to put that in there. Each piece is blank meters long, rounded to the nearest Hundredth. Whew. Okay. So now I need to go back into my problem and find the important information. Well, I know that I have a piece of rope. It's one piece of rope, a piece of rope, and it's cut into, excuse me, it's five meters long. So I'm going to start off by making that because bar models always help me. So here's my bar. Awesome. And this bar is five meters long. So from here all the way to here is five meters. Go back into my problem. It's cut into eight equal pieces. Ooh, eight equal pieces. So equals big, eight equal pieces. Okay. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. My pieces aren't exactly equal. I need to fix them a little bit. That looks a little better. So they don't have to be exactly equal. You can give it your best eyeball estimate. Eight equal pieces. Awesome. Got my eight equal pieces. How long is each piece? So my question mark is right here. Each piece. These pieces here. So I have five meters, and they're cut into eight equal pieces. They want to know how long each piece is. Okay, well, that means that I divide five by eight. Eight goes into five doesn't. I have to put a decimal point here, and the first thing you do with division and decimal is bring it straight up. 5 goes into 50. There we go. 6 times. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract. I get a 2. Okay. Bring down a 0. 8 goes into 20. 3 times. Make this a little bit longer. 3 times 8 is... 24. Oops. Messed up. Too big a number. Got to go back and fix it. Get my eraser out. Too big. That means this number is too big. Let's try 2. 2 times 8 is 16. There we go. That works better. Subtract and I get 4. I have to borrow. Make another 0. Bring it down. 40. 8 goes into 40 five times. 5 times 8 is 40. I subtract and get 0. Woohoo! My answer is 625 thousandths. But now I go back and look. Does it make sense? Rounded to the nearest hundredth. So let's look back here. If I have this number and it's rounded to the nearest hundredth, here's my hundredth place. I look to the right. The 5 tells it to give it a shove, move up. 
So that means my answer is decimal point six three. That's my answer. Each piece of rope is 63 hundredths meters long, rounded to the nearest hundredth. That's it. So remember your steps. Read the whole problem. Very important. Write the sentence. Very important. Make a bar model to help you visualize. Very important. When you do your work, stop and make sure you're answering the entire question before you decide on the final answer. Good luck on your homework tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow.